it's very difficult to design regulation if you don't understand the problem. And I think there's a lot of areas with systemic risk where we don't have very good understanding of these problems. So too big to fail is this problem that if you have a big bank which has very large assets and very large liabilities and it's about to fail, what should the government do? If the government lets it fail, as it did with Lehman for example in the US, you potentially have enormous negative consequences on both the financial system and the real economy. The alternative is to step in and make sure that it doesn't fail, either by putting in taxpayers' funds or doing some other kind of action like getting another bank to take it over. This has been a very contentious policy. Much of the regulation that was put in place was designed to prevent too big to fail. My own view is that these policies won't work and when push comes to shove governments will in the end save these institutions. Lehman wasn't a particularly big bank and yet when it failed it caused an enormous amount of disruption in the world economy. Some of that went through the financial system, it also went through in other ways we don't understand. So for example you might think that the countries that would be most affected by the Lehman default would be the US and maybe the UK because of their banking systems. Now, in fact, the countries which had the biggest drop in GDP after the Lehman default were Japan and Finland. Until we understand that and how to prevent it, governments and regulators will be very wary about letting banks fail. The problem today is that we have very simplistic views of what's going on, and it's not really a full understanding of systemic risk. Political economy says we don't want governments to waste their money by bailing out banks. It's not fair, it's not a good way of doing things. And so they've tried to design systems which will prevent that. My own view is they won't work. Governments, when faced with the prospect of a 10% drop in GDP within a year, will say, okay, well, let's bail out the bank. That's what they've always done in the past, except in a few isolated instances. The main takeaways is that we have very imperfect understanding of how systemic risk works. Regulators and central bankers and governments still think very much in terms of macroeconomics, so they look at the effects of the real economy rather than looking at the financial side of things. Governments step in to stop that by preventing big banks from failing. I think they'll continue to do that until we have a good understanding of these issues. Yes.